Firebase Hosting provides fast and secure hosting for your web app. It works with static content, but that doesn't have to be a limitation. With powerful JavaScript frameworks, you can build very rich websites using only static files. I'm Lawrence Moroni, and in this video, I will show you how to use Firebase Hosting to build a powerful website that lets you view extremely high-resolution images with a very smooth zooming experience. For example, here's a finished site that I built using an image that has 100 million pixels in it. You can visit this link to play with it for yourself. As you can see, when I zoom into her eye, you can actually see what was behind the virtual camera causing that reflection in her eye. Or if I zoom into the monitors behind her, you can actually see the text that was written on them. All of this was implemented using static files and hosted on Firebase Hosting. Now, how would you do this? First of all, you're going to need a Firebase project. Create that in the Firebase console in the usual way, and then make sure that you select Firebase Hosting and go through the steps. To deploy files to hosting, you will need the Firebase command line interface, or CLI. And in order to get this, you'll need NPM, which is the Node.js package manager. If you don't have this already, you can get it by following the instructions on nodejs.org. Once you have NPM, you can install the Firebase CLI on your system as part of the Firebase tools with this command. Now create a directory on your development machine, and this is where you're going to store your static files. Move into that directory and run the Firebase init command. The first question is what you want to do with it. Do you want to use Firebase database, cloud functions, or hosting? Pick hosting, and then you'll be asked which project you want to associate with. Earlier in the console, I created a project called fh-screencast, so I'm going to pick that. The CLI will then ask you a bunch of questions. Just select the default answers to all of them. Note in particular the public directory for your web files. It defaults to public. Once the initialization is complete, take a look in that directory. There's going to be a bunch of files in there, as well as a public folder which contains the basic HTML files that you'll use to get started. And that's it. Put your static files in the public directory, and then use the Firebase deploy command, and they'll be uploaded for you. Let's take a look at an example now, the Sea Dragon based zooming app that I showed earlier on. This zooming works by slicing your image up into tiles at different zoom levels. There's a Python-based tool to do this for you, and you can get it here. Of course, you'll need an image, so if you want to use my 100 megapixel one, you can download it at this link. So when you run the tool to slice up the image, you're going to get lots of tiles and an index file called a DZI, which is used by the JavaScript libraries to link them all together. Then all you need is a static HTML file that uses the CDragon JavaScript and which points to this DZI. Here's what the script on that page would look like. And once you have all of that, you put it in the directory and do a Firebase deploy command. Files will upload to your Firebase hosting space and get deployed for you. You can see in the Firebase console that previous versions are archived if you ever need to roll back. You can also map a domain name to it if you want. And that's it. It's really that easy to build a website, manage, and deploy it on Firebase, and it's free. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button.